So these are the um, items of rolling stock we're going to be weathering today. So I've got this uh, Great Western coach there, I've got a Great Western towed brake van, a couple of um, brick wagons, and then these wagons here. I'm not even sure what these are, but they're quite interesting. I've not seen these in double O gauge. Right, so I'm going to start off with a general spray of this colour here, which is XF63, which is German grey. I'm just going to mix in a little bit of XF1, which is just a flat black. Don't have a set way of uh, mixing these, I just put a few uh, drops of each in and I hope for the best. Right, so I've got the airbrush set up, so I'm just going to do a kind of overall um, coating of the grey and the black now. With the coach, I'm going to try and keep the body sides relatively clean and just go for the roof and the underframe um, with the brake van. I'll be a bit more uh, generous with the paint. Now on the brake van, a lot of this paint we're going to remove in a minute, so it doesn't matter if you overdo it at this stage. Same with these wagons, just going to go for an overspray of black to start with. So this is one of my favourite bits now, I get one of these, which is a carbon fiber pen or maybe just a fiber pen or something just got this off amazon for a few pounds um and basically just brush off some of the paint you can varnish this first and then uh still use these on these smaller end gauge wagons i don't think you need to do that so i'll show you the effect that you can get So really you can take off or leave on as much paint as you want here, depending on how heavy you want to weather the wagon. I'm gonna leave these fairly heavily done. But you can see it kind of gives a similar effect to a wash in that the paint kind of stays around the recessed areas.
So that's this stage done on the brake fan. See, I've done the ends as well. Right, now I'm going to do something similar on the coach as well, just brush some of the overspray off. On my double O gauge coaches, I like to uh, polish the sides with teacup just to kind of get them quite shiny, like you see on the real things. Uh, in N gauge, I, I, just, I don't think that would kind of scale properly, I don't think it would look quite right. So I'm just going to create a little bit of a polished finish just using the, the carbon fibre pen. So again, this has just left you with just a little bit of a kind of shiny keyed uh, finish. Just needs kind of brushing down a bit. There's some fibers on it from the pen. But it just gives a nice kind of polished finish to the coach. Right, so that's the uh, sides of the coach done. We've just got a bit more to do to the under frame and then we've got the roof to do with weathering powders as well. So moving on to these wagons next, we've just got to do the same treatment on these with the pen. Got to be careful on this because we don't want to remove uh, any of the lettering. So again, same as before on these, I've just taken off a bit of the weathering so you can see a bit of the colour showing through there. Um, and the same on this one as well. So there's just plenty of grime and dirt building up around the metal parts and on some of the right in there as well. The inside I'm going to do with some paint and weathering powders. Then we've just got the underframe to add a bit of rust to, to as well. Right, next up, I'm just going to dry brush a little bit of a kind of rusty brown colour onto the underframe. Again, same for the brake van, just going to add a little bit of rust around the underframe. Right, next up we've got some weathering powders to add, so I'm just going to use the Humbrol smoke colour here, which is just the black one, I'm just going to brush this over the roofs. here with the brick uh, loads in them as well. I'm just going to add a little bit of weathering powder onto the top as well. I'm just using a little bit of brown for this. Then finally I'm just going to add a little bit of brown around some of the under frames as well. Now once you've done this, you can use some matte varnish to kind of hold the powders down. I tend not to do that. I just 
would reapply it if I needed to after uh, a period of time. But um, given that I'm doing these models for someone else, I think I will give these ones just a quick spray of that varnish just to keep the powders down. Right, that's the powders done. So I'm just going to head outside and give them a quick spray with this, which is like a that varnish you can get from Hobbycraft or something. And then we should be finished. All I need to do now is box these up, send them back to where they came from, and hopefully someone will be happy with how they've turned out. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.